Hello again, it's Kevin. Hey, let's take a minute to talk about goals. It's 2020. It's a great year. There's so much opportunity in this year. I want you to have a little think about where you are with your goals, remembering that the big goals are the ones we should be shooting for. Don't worry too much about how to do it just yet. The most important thing is that you set a C-type goal. What's a C-type goal? What's a C-type goal? Well, Bob Proctor, who's an absolute guru in self-help and development, he said there were three types of goals. The A-type goal, which is one that we know we can do. The B-type goal, which is one that we think we can do if we stretch ourselves a little bit. And the C-type goal. That C-type goal is so big, so scary, so impossible, that your life will absolutely change if you get it. Now the A-type goal and the B-type goal are not inspiring. They won't make you get out of bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. They won't give you cold sweats. They won't do anything that will help you grow. Because the purpose of your goal is not to get something new or bigger, although you may do that as part of your goal. The purpose is to grow. And we are growth-focused creatures. In fact, if you look behind me, you'll see that there's a jungle behind me. We are nature, we are animals, just like every other creature on this planet. And we are part of nature. You see that everything must grow. The moment it stops growing, it starts dying. Hey, you know, we are, we are nature, we are part of nature. It's absolutely crazy to think that just because we stand upright and we have a mobile phone or we can text each other it, that we're not animals okay we're a little bit more advanced than say for instance a lizard or a worm but we are still animals and we are still part of nature and everything in nature must grow if it doesn't grow it dies the moment a plant stops bearing fruit stops bearing vegetables on a you know like a, a cucumber or a fruit tree bearing fruits, it starts to die. It becomes food for parasites, shade for other animals until it one day falls down. You are not a shady tree. You are a creature of this earth that must grow. So you should set C-type goals. And it is 2020. And we are moving ahead in this year. So I want you to go back and have a look at your goals for the start of this year. Make sure it's a nice, juicy, impossible goal. And let's, let's get fully and emotionally attached to that. Grab it with both hands. Believe it and achieve it. And set in place an, what I call the encyclopedia of ideas. Every day, write down five things, five ideas each day. And do this every day for at least 30 days. Build an encyclopedia of ideas that will help you on your way to your goal. And I guarantee you, you will wake up one day and you'll say, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And you just follow that and bang, you'll be there. You must set the goal. You must get the ideas. And then you must take action. A goal without action isn't a, a goal or a dream. It's a nightmare, right? Because once you get to the point where this goal doesn't come true, you will say, oh, I tried that idea of Kevin's or Bob's or... Brian Tracy or whoever else it is that you're following. And it just didn't work. Well, it didn't work because you didn't work. And you got knocked over and you will get knocked down and you will fail and trip and bump and scrape. So what? Get up, have another go. All right? So go back and have a look at your goals for 2020. I don't care if you haven't done it. It's irrelevant. If you haven't reached it, it doesn't matter. Go back, make sure it's a big one. If nothing's happened, maybe it's not big enough. Maybe you're not emotionally attached. Go in there, hunt it, grab it, and take yourself to some new height this year that you thought you couldn't achieve. Bye for now, and I wish you all the best of luck. It's Kevin. Thank you.